match, but it looks like that is not the case as uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be having a pretty cool matchup. Though. We're gonna be having Leon versus Pekka. Yeah, pretty exciting. Bowser versus Min Min. It's, it's basically a game of can Peckham use range to win. And that's kind of yeah. how it's going to be. I do appreciate, though, Leon has the Doug tag as in Doug Bowser. Uh -huh. I haven't seen that before. Very amusing. Gets my actually, I'm actually wondering how Leon actually plays around this. We haven't seen a lot of Min Min so far. Definitely rose to prominence a lot in Wi Fi. It's a lot about that range for sure, but not going to be looking too good as uh, we already see what's going on right now. Leon's having a pretty tough time recovering, especially against his. Uh, Pretty toxic Edgar. Yeah, I mean, that's just the power of Min Min. It's like, once you're at ledge, it's like, okay, cool, I don't get to play the game anymore because uh, Ram Ram shows up. And then once you get back to stage, Megawatt's there. So Megawatt Nair is there. Gets the stock really cleanly. And Leon just didn't have a chance to play the game as soon as he was off stage. And that's basically what he needs to know going into this match. That's what I'm curious to see if Leon can actually adapt. Especially knowing that Peckham is actually one of these uh, Wi-Fi players that we don't really know of. So we don't actually don't really know the way he wants to play so far. So Leon has built up a good amount of damage, but still has to see if he can actually weave in and out of all these, uh, say, zoning projectiles coming in. But we're still back to another uh, ledge trap situation that's already in favor for Peckham as he's already racked up a good amount of damage on the second stock. Oh, I like that aggressiveness from Leon. Just going off stage, avoiding the arm in the process. Amazing way to get a stock. Especially because you were down so much. He was down at full stock. And now he's just at a huge deficit that slowly but surely needs to get back from. Yeah, but this is why it's so tough, especially when playing against Min Min, knowing that she's able to sit there for free, zone out with Dragon, and Ram Ram, and Megawatts. I definitely like using the flamethrower off as a ledge trap situation to cap, cover a good amount of options. So far, though, I like how Leon's actually adapting in this match. It's looking pretty good for him as he gets a good four tilt off stage. Yeah, and actually reads the roll there. Amazing up smash. I like the awareness from really just narrowing down Peckham's Ooh, options and habits and just go. going for it. Yeah, I was a little bit afraid if Leon can actually bounce back, but it looks like he's actually done a good job doing so, especially after that, uh, especially after that horrendous first stock that uh, that occurred, as we've seen Leon not failing to adapt. But now it's looking really good, man. 151 sitting on him, doing a good amount of damage. He's still sitting pretty on his second stock, and Bowser with Rage is not a fun thing to play against. Already doing a good amount. All right, 46, what can do? Yeah, tries to go with something crazy with that up smash there, but just gets a megawatt to the face. Like, yeah, Peckham's a little bit smarter than that. Will not fall for a trick, but still. At a deficit, Hi. though. Hi, Leon. I see you. I know you try to go for a hard read on the, on the neutral. Get up knowing that Peckham has done it a good amount, especially against Flamethrower. But unfortunately, gets caught out the last time. And uh, yeah. Oh. yeah. Uses the downbeat and then gets an up smash at ledge. And that is it. A JV2 coming in from Leon there. After that rough first, uh, first stock, came back pretty solidly and is on good footing going into the game, too. Yeah, and you already see Leon doing a really good way of adapting to this matchup and also reading the roles by Ledge 2. So Peckham looking pretty unfortunate. Also getting word that Peckham apparently is the best minion so far. So definitely looking pretty good. But looks like Leon just had the better edge in this game. Hopefully we see Peckham adapt. I actually want to see um, how Minwin will fare, knowing that uh, play against Leon should be favorable to push that first off. But... This is where the mind games come in, Rain. I really want to see if Peckham can actually, you know, essentially create an upset against one of these PGR players. Yeah, I think Peckham definitely is the underdog going into this. Even though we haven't seen Leon too much in these tournaments, yeah. he is just, you know, he's a PGR player mm -hmm. offline, an amazing player all around. You have to give him props. You have to give him respect in match. But at the same time, Peckham just rounds up an insane amount of percentage right off the bat. Very similar Ooh. to game one, is just kind of steamrolling Leon at ledge. Yo, Peckham's conversion throughout that entire trade was just so clean, and what's oh, another edge guard, reading another one as well with the dragon flame breath. This is where this is where I really appreciate Leon turning back the pressure, but still, this first stock, a lot, very reminiscent of game one, where you know, Leon took a lot of damage in this, in this early neutral exchange. Just like Peckham being very patient the way he wants to play. Yeah, 165% is a very hefty amount, but as Bowser, as the big body boy himself, you're going to barely tone him living, but a 200% and a megawatt to the face, you're finally gone. But I got to say, Leon got a lot of mileage out of that stock, despite being a disadvantage so much. Like, managed to hold on to it pretty well, so I got to give him props where it's due. I definitely think the fact that being a little more patient at the end of the day, though, especially in this game compared to the first one. Already getting a good amount of conversion in this second stock of Leon. Back throw, to get off, get him off. And yeah, this is the problem that we kind of talked about is that 
is, oh my goodness, Leon just can't get in. If he is out, Peckham will do everything possible to make sure that Bowser cannot close in. Two full stocks ahead right now, and it's just all day, all night, running at arm's length. And though finally the dare from Leon is what gets him a stock. But hey, you're still at a deficit, my friend. This was a case of, uh, this was something that we were thinking about, Rain, when it came to this match. <laughs> and an SD to that, close uh, that game, too. Yeah, that uh, Bowser just has a pretty tough part, but pretty important. Yeah, that is not how Leon wanted to go out game two. Uh, just kind of a quick run from, from uh, Peckham, rather. So we'll see how this game three turns out. That was just rough for Leon, though. Yeah, um... It's just the idea of closing the gap, you know? It's just really tough. Even though Barzer has a, a good amount of move speed and a good, a good amount of way to close that distance, it's just, that, I, I mean, this is probably a big example of why Min Min is just really annoying. And if Leon goes for a swap, I can definitely respect why he would just to see where they want to go into this third game. Yeah. It's just, Bowser has, as you said, has the speed, has the reach with a lot of moves. I mean, we saw Liam play aggressively with that fair off stage to secure a stock. Has really good reads on Peckham, too, though. Like, catching Peckham he in did. disadvantage yeah. at ledge, that's so important going into it. But you're going to need a little bit more than that. Like, you can do those things fine, but you have to actually get in to do those things. And yeah, Peckham uh, didn't let Leon press many buttons. God, no. I mean, it's just so tough. Hopefully, we get to see a stage where Leon can actually... I wonder if he's actually opting for a stage that is a little bit shorter. Of course, platforms is definitely going to help knowing that uh, Mimin doesn't really have a lot of ways of dealing with someone vertically compared yeah. to horizontally. So hopefully uh, we do see Leon utilize his platforms to a good extent to close the gap. And I'm liking this way of utilizing Flame, uh, flame Breath as a way to approach and also using this verticality that Bowser is pretty good at. Yeah, Bowser has a kind of a better range in that verticality, as you said. Mimin a little bit lacking. Tripod's going to do great. You know, blast zones are a little bit different, so Bowser can kill even earlier. There's just a lot oh. going on. Yeah, and that yeah, quick stock. Megawatt, man. That is, it's just going to hurt a lot. I'm, I'm actually afraid of Leon. <laughs> Never mind. Oh my god. You know what? I'm going to eat my words, Rain. I wasn't afraid of Leon, but uh, I was afraid of Leon. It looks like I'm not anymore. I'm of Leon. He yeah. just was the rawest F smash I've ever seen right in Peckham's face, and it worked. Gotta watch the feet, bro. I'm telling you, man. It looks like uh, it looks like they actually have shaken up Peckham the way he wants to play. You can already see that he's actually being a little bit more cautious of, of his approaches. Going for the double down air isn't the optimal way, as he's already having 113% against a Bowser, no less. Yeah, this is already a huge bombastic set. Only a minute in, and these two are slugging it out. And Peckham, though, at his advantage, just barely with that Ram Ram catching Leon's high recovery. And I'm interested to see how Leon's managed to come back and just barely going underneath, but just, <laughs> just yep. slammed by Megawatt. And this is the problem that Peckham just brings to the table. Even if you get back to stage, you still have to get through the arms of an arms character. And it's just insane. This is going to be a regrab, though. It's just tough, too, knowing that it's just a gigantic guessing game of what, what option you want to go for. But a good old side B will be able to take the second stock of Peckin, which is something that definitely is needed to stop this momentum, especially after that game, too. But uh, we'll have to see how Liam answers as a good flamethrower. We'll be able to build up some percent back in his favor. And you already see Leon, Leon using these platforms to just kind of create some space. Yeah, I like how he's kind of dancing around them to trying to avoid just the horizontal plane with Min Min. And a little bit rough right now, especially as these Megawatts are coming out. Chill and walk, this is, I got to say, man, this is getting starting to get very scary for Leon. Let's see if he can bounce back, though. I know Leon is one of the reasons why he is a future player. But unfortunately, oh. Dragon's going to catch it, man. I, I had faith, Ring. I actually had faith. But unfortunately, online Min Min's uh, looking kind of snasty, I'm being honest. Yeah, Peckham makes that upset 2-1. A little bit of a shaky game 2 for Leon and couldn't close it out in that game 3. Is Peckham looking great, knowing the space, knowing the options, and knowing how to continue on in Winterside Bracket. So, 